Let's head to Sunday Night Football, the Bears and the Rams. This is a play for me and for Brad. And um, for me, I, I kind of teased this a little bit earlier in the... Oh, look what I did, a play on words there. I kind of teased this a little earlier in the show as a teaser leg. Yes, it is. I'm pairing this uh, Rams team up with the 49ers from earlier You take both of these seven and a half point favorites, you bring them down to one and a half point favorites. I can tell you this, both of these teams have Super Bowl aspirations, but the Rams really have Super Bowl aspirations. They go out and trade for Matthew Stafford because they think they can win now. They do not want to waste Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey and Robert Woods and Cooper Cup, like all these guys that are in their prime right now. They don't want to waste these guys. So they go out and they make this move to bring in Matthew Stafford. The Bears are going to go with Andy Dalton. I actually think this is the right move, though he is by far the worst quarterback. But I don't think you want to throw your rookie quarterback to the Wolves here in the first three weeks of the season. Two of their first three games on the Bears side are at the Rams and at the Browns. Again, two of what I consider to be two of the five best defenses in the NFL. And I think, you know, you see Justin Fields probably week four. But this is going to be Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton ain't beating this Rams team. That is not happening. Aaron, that offensive line, did you see them in the preseason? This offensive line is atrocious. Aaron Donald, they are going to have to triple team him. The other guys are going to be able to moonwalk into the backfield and get sacked and pressures on this team. Andy Dalton is going to have multiple turnovers in this game as well. I think the Rams win huge. That being said, I am able to tease this thing down with another game with a team that I think is going to win huge as well. So give me the Rams in a teaser leg down to a point and a half. And honestly, if I had to play this thing one way or the other, I would go ahead and just play them seven and a half as well. I think this could be a massive, massive, huge win for this Rams team. I think this bears franchise as a whole is completely lost and they have completely lost their way. Wow. I like the Justin Fields pick everything else they have done has been completely head scratching and mind numbing. And uh, I think this team is, is, is in for a really, really rough season. Brad, I know you have a play here, but you're looking at the total. Total. Yeah. Again, we kind of see it similarly, just coming at it from a slightly different angle. Mm. Um, And again, it's just a terrible offensive line. So, uh, I've not done this deliberately, but I seem to have bet against all five bottom offensive lines by PFF. <laughs> but they, they've got the Bears at 28, and that was when they um, when they had Tevin Jenkins scheduled to play in there. So, you know, th- they were terrible last year, like, like a bottom eight offensive line last year. Then they lost both tackles, drafted a second rounder to go in at left tackle. He got injured. So now they're going with uh, the old Eagles chap. What's his name? He's like 42. Oh, yeah, Peters. Eagles, yeah. Eagles left tackle. Yeah, Jason Peters, yeah. So oh, my God, he's kind he didn't of, retire yet? No, so he did retire. Wow. He's just coming off the street, and he's yeah. going to be stuck in there at left tackle against, as uh, as Matt says, you know, Aaron Donald. It doesn't really matter who's there. Lennon Floyd's a good pass rusher, but I just think Aaron Donald wrecks this game. And Dalton, historically, has been bad under pressure. You know, he, he's not someone that can escape that well or, or conjure up much um, so yeah I agree it's going to be a wreckage on that side of the ball with the with the Rams I, I think I do think I see the Rams as a Super Bowl contender I just think Stafford is such a, an elite talent compared to Goff and obviously McVay had, had, had the Rams as a, a top 10 offense for years even with with Goff who's terrible and now he's, he's got just so much more arm talent um, for week one I, I would say the I would say that the Rams' offensive offensive line is probably their weakness. You know, it's probably middle of the pack, and that's perhaps mm-hmm. where the Bears have a chance with with Khalil Mack and Akeem Hicks healthy, um, which is why I probably prefer the under on the game. And this this is another one that's been bet up recently, so I'm kind of happy to fade that. Um, and I would say just just macro view. Uh, you, you know, as I, I must have said, I bet about five or six unders here. I mean, we, we've seen that in college football where unders are hitting at like a 66% rate and I, I kind of had that I had the idea before before college football kicked off that the return of crowds would favour the defences and, and probably training camp favours the defences you know if we're talking about communication right. And, right. and passing off you know runners and stuff um, and then the crowd you know just just like the left tackle I think it was Bakhtiari was saying rather than look at his man if there's a crowd and he can't hear the snap he now has to look at the ball so he's A he's a, he's a half second slower off the line and B he's not actually looking at the man he's trying to block so 
Um, yeah, I just think it is a, a big advantage for the defense as, as well as just being more revved up. You know, it's pretty hard to get fully mental to, to rush the passer if there's just an empty stadium. So, uh, yeah, I, I like, I feel like you could just parlay five unders and I think you've probably got a positive EV bet. But um, yeah, I, I like the under here. Steven, not a play for you in this one. Uh, quick thoughts on just this uh, Bears as they head over to to the Rams here on Sunday Night Football. No, I share your thoughts that this is the ideal teaser leg along with the 49ers. I'm going to be playing that teaser as well just to, you know, get both of those heavy favorites at minus one and a half. Uh, I do think that there's a chance that both of these lines go higher. We've already seen the 49ers at a couple spots get up to eight already. Uh, so if you're going to play that teaser leg, I would do it before Sunday. Um, so that that's where I'm at here. I, I concur with everything you guys said about this matchup. Good luck, Andy Dalton.